It's all good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the one and the only. Erika. Erika. Daybreak. Daybreak. Every day. Boss. Two seconds. You started that slang, right? Yeah, no. I, they got to be paying you money for that. <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people say that, but I think it's a popular slang in the South South, right? Yeah. Especially worry when you say two you seconds. Know, you know, funny enough, funny enough, those slangs are really uh, originated by Paper Boy himself. Oh, so wow. That sometimes wow. I listen to some like these two seconds. Let me really get them. Then I play some old tracks like 2010, 2009. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I said it here, I said wow, it here. You understand? Wow. These people are like, it's like uh, my, my my albums are like the dictionary. And like, wow, wow. Was on the and okay, but who who's Paper? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I want to be sure I, I got that. So, you're not even the first person who started to say that. Yeah, I'm the first person to start saying that. Wow. Two wow. seconds everywhere, boss. Wow. From motivation. You heard it in motivation. Yeah. And I've been saying that since my um, since my um, first album. Oh, oh Paper Boy was your first album, right? Um, um, Erigma. The Erigma, Erigma. one was yeah. my first album. So people got to be paying money for that. Uh, you know, um, this <laughs> line of work, no trophies. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, I'm gonna, crazy. I'm Drake feel that, no trophies. He actually, because the thing is now, everybody uses that slang now, but the first person who ever put it on the track in, since 2010. Yeah. Two seconds. Yes. Every year, bust. Yes. Wow. Real matters. <laughs> Era, yeah. no, funny enough. Era, nah, no, nah, nah. yeah. yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I see how the vision is. I bit worry and I was... <laughs> you know, the first time I got there, you know that you, if you to go to Warrior and perform, you have to be a strong guy. Yeah, think about it. I mean, not to just you have to be confident. You have to be bold. I you know, swear. I was I came to the stadium with a hoodie, and they were like, "Who be this guy?" <laughs> and the guy said, "Step back." Everybody on this side, step back. But you know, I just was there, and the guy pushed me. Uh, like, but about to follow you, come up for here. Real matters. So I took off my hoodie. Then he got it. Ah. I don't know this in our Euro. <laughs> Next time, man, they come on your hoodie. Now. I said, oh, wow. You know, they, they just showed me a bit of how they can be sometimes. And yeah. But the thing about worry is, why have you constantly represented that space? Because, because you know, uh, let me be honest with you. A yeah. lot of people who actually do, from comedians, musicians, they've left that place and feel they have to come to other parts like Lagos, which they feel is the hub of entertainment, yeah. to come and chill. So how in the world have you constantly represented that space? You you stay there and you've not left the place. Why? Yeah, if I leave, who's going to stay? Hmm. And number two, um, I make more money over there than I do in Lagos. So wow. I can't, why am I here spending all that money and I'm not getting it back? And besides, uh, me staying, like music to me is like, uh, it's like art. It's true. You understand? Like the way you have, um, the way you have uh, Picasso. I have to stay connected to my roots because just staying away from my hood for like two, three months, I'm going to lose touch. And you wonder how come Erica is still like this, still consistent, still doing what he's yeah, doing yeah. because I'm still close to my roots. Wow. I like that. I like that. Can you know, this question come up. Because it's more than money to me. True. I can actually come over here, sell out, blow for a while and off. I've seen a lot of people do that. A lot of people like I respected from Potaco that came to Lagos they are, I don't want to say names, but they are nowhere anymore. They don't have their stand Bro, you can say names on this show. Anything. Yeah, Erica, from see, Frank this is your first interview with me. From Come. Frank De Niro okay. to D-Smart to um, um, uh, Specimen A. A hmm. lot of them back then in PH, because Worry actually were looking up to Port Harcourt because they were like the industry that was yeah, kind of yeah. like developed then. Yeah, yeah. And they, they migrated from um, Port Harcourt and came to Lagos, and that was the end. Wow. I don't want to end up like, I don't want to come here. Okay, so okay, we got to start spinning some Yoruba bars and next thing you know, area said, well, leave that guy, I got to go Lagos, forget it matter. Then when I go back home, I see some boy, one new new kid on the block, he just replaced me and I'll be like, wow, I don't have a grand in Lagos, I don't have a grand here. Then where do I live? Where do you leave me now? Wow. You know, the thing is, one thing I liked about you is your truthfulness. You don't hold anything back. Nah. If you follow Eriga on Instagram, <laughs> you're a different mood entirely. Talk about CV. <laughs> I mean, that's what he is. I mean, that's why I don't follow you because of just your music. It's because of your philosophy. You always stick to what you know, the truth, and you never, ever, 
You never step away from that comfort zone. No, I never step out. And I think that that's the way that, that and is they keep thing. asking me like they keep asking me like Erica, how do you do it? How do you do it? Like not every rapper have to put everything out there. Like True. I've done so much for myself. I'm so proud of myself <laughs> for real. Like from the worry, the worry day, I did my show in London, I did Manchester, I did uh, Liverpool, right? Yeah. I did Liverpool, I've done um, South Africa, I've done um, I've done Dubai, I've done Abu Dhabi, I've done Ajman, wow. you know, like Malaysia, like so many places. So I'm trying to tell you that the music these days, what people need to understand, we have to educate a lot of these artists now because the music 2010 is not as it is right now. Now you don't have... You don't have like you say you have to be in Lagos for you to get heard. I don't. I don't believe that social media. So Soja Boy proved you all wrong. So, Soja Boy used the internet and look at where he is today. True. You can use the internet. No one controls the distribution and how music should be shared or marketed right now. You need a big record label because they're in Lagos and you feel like oh Lagos is the place that you can get those record companies that can come out from you. And that's because those companies can actually print a million CDs out there so people can get like people can really get your jobs. You understand? Yeah. And they're the ones that can really sell. Your, your your physical cds they can inv really invest in it but these days now i can sell a billion copies from itunes i don't have to invest in production all i have to do is just make sure my my stuff is tight make sure my stuff is marketable and i'm, I'm, I'm a bankable artist and then i can sell a billion copies no you, i'm not going to print that now so do i still need these major labels you know what i can shoot my videos i i, I know how much i make from shows so I, I can shoot my videos myself so, you, so if, why am I so, coming to Lagos? So you feel like coming to Lagos as, as an entertainment hub is is almost uh, sometimes you don't think determines success for you. You don't think in, in music or entertainment. You don't feel coming here determines any. That's, that's right. Well, I think we have to define success in okay. music. What's success? Before I think one time it was having an endorsement deal that makes you successful. True. I got endorsement deals in the south. True. Yeah. And everywhere I've counts. Got, I, look, I've, I've, and, I've, and I've, every yeah. every money counts. It's the every same money. money. I make more money there, bro. I like. I think I'm one of the uh, few that can make up to like um, seven figures from that same South South. Like when they say South, people feel like it's just where we know. I'm, I represent the whole of the South South, South region, South. and we have seven states. So you see, I have a lot of children to feed now. Wow. I tend to. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Young Six? You know, Young Six actually is is. He represents the South South. He's, yeah. he's a rapper from there. And yeah, from he's Worry. popular from Worry, actually. Yeah. But he came to Lagos. Yeah. Would you say he's, he's based on your observation and how you do you do you think in your own understanding that um do you do you think he, he made a big bet best the best move? Do you think he made the best move? Because um, no young see from that space. He was one of the best ever come out of South South. Still yet, still date, everybody still yeah. You know, rap him. And he's and a kid, I, I love his music. I love what he does. Sometimes, you know, um, it's hard to get it sometimes for some some people because I know yeah. he's deep into his, his core and he never leaves it. But like, he moved to the, this space. Yeah. But I, I feel for me, he's been stronger even from there when he was in the South Side and everybody knew him. I'm coming back to this space is a bit different. So do, yeah. do you think, what based on the names you mentioned, would you put your six in that young six in that box as well? Because uh, he, he left, know, he yeah, left. He as left, well. yeah. But um, I can tell you that I built the South South industry. Yeah, I think I'm the reason why they started paying artists over a million naira. Victor Eddie is an example. After that movement, they started seeing something like a lot of youngsters left because the music wasn't really paying over there. So yeah. you need to you need yeah. a big platform. True. Here, yeah. You understand? But I made sure it worked for me. So because it, if what doesn't work for you might work for me, True. and it all depends on pressure. You know the same pressure you have, the same heat that hardens the egg, softens the potato. Let's kill that. So you we'll have be right to back in the show. <laughs> we gotta kill that. You guys, you want to hear some real truth? You gotta listen to Eriga. I mean, whether you like it or not, it's one of the people I respect comes to music. Coming all the way from the South South, rapping, putting people on. The first time I actually figured and found out, heard about Victor AD was when he did a collaboration with you. And that yeah, was a hit. In the, before Erica actually started music, you were actually, you were, um, you were, let me put it this way. I'm, I'm trying to remove this. You, uh, hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually allegedly an uh, armed robber. Right. Oh, that's what he said. I mean, that's what I—that's what we heard. <laughs> I, and and well, I mean, over time, the fact is, you had 
a couple of friends that you started with then, but all of them got killed. You're the only one that survived, right? Yeah. And I think that motivated you to start doing what you always loved, which is music. Yeah. And because if you hear the words of all your song and what you've done, you can tell that there's a lot of deepness in what you say, right? Yeah. And uh, you talk about your friends as well. You talk about your hood and everything, <sighs> and you talk about your pain as well. Yeah. That's it, why. That's why this this Eric Matu and I think he answered or every question you want to yeah. ask me right now. The Eric. Matu yeah, but you're gonna start by answering this one first. Oh sure. <laughs> so I need to. <laughs> were you were you, <laughs> were you exactly were you that guy? Did you Yeah, you, um um let's not blow it out, but um okay. part of it okay. was me. So what exactly happened actually? Who who were you at that time? What were you doing? Is it true that you had friends that got killed yeah, at that time? Yeah, I got I got half friends. Our friends. Yeah. And I have friends that were into all kinds of stuff. You yeah. know, back then in the south, we don't we didn't have an industry. We don't yeah. know about the old the restiveness, no crisis and all true, that. So true. it's very easy for you to just pick an AK forty seven or pick up um, a gun. shotgun or something yeah. and just do what you have to do. Because just survive. Um, well, people we look up to, they that's what they do. Wow. That's what they do. So yeah. I, I I think I I I was caught up in that business the old right. street thing, yeah. But I mean, but, but I'm good now. You you can trust me. <laughs> no, no, I, know, I know you're good. I know you're good. I know I know you're very good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So, well, in that case, it's just you just you know the thing is, we know a lot of things about a lot of people. But it's it's nice. I don't I don't base on what anybody says. My speculation yeah. is, I don't I don't just have speculations or just decide or conclude on anything I hear from people. It's nice to have interviews like this. Say so you can have this conversation. Yeah. You know and. um um, what was the turning point for you at that time? What really changed you totally that you now said, you know what, this music, I want to focus on it? Yeah, uh, the turning point is um, watching your man get killed. Yeah. Like um, having someone die in your arms, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You ask yourself, like, is this how I want to live my life? Yeah. Is this what I want to do? I'm funny enough, I've had this talent, you know, I've had this talent for making words ago. rhyme. Like, yeah. um, uh, I can really do this. I know I can really do this, and I know I can really. If I put my mind to it, something I can do. At that point, when you see all your all, all people you grew up with, they getting locked up, and uh, some getting killed. Understand? Yeah. Um, I, I just don't want to do that. <laughs> you know what? And, and I, I like your honesty. The fact is, we got to build ourselves and grow where we need to grow, and grow it at the right time. So you're talking about the album. Yeah, the album, the Arigma 2, um, that, that's going to be another classic again, like the Arigma 1. You know, I drew this inspiration from Jay-Z when he did the Blueprint 1 and did the Blueprint 2. I was like, okay, fine, fine. I think I have to connect back to my roots, yeah, bring yeah. that same Eriga that everybody love and just polish it a bit yeah. and add more names to it. So this album has M.I., it has Ice Prince, I have Magneto, I have Victor A.D., yeah. I have... Uh, um, Let's keep the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for, for people you worked with, um, you know, everybody calls themselves the king. Why do you think you're the king of the South South? Uh, but you know, everybody calls them the king of the South South. Why do you think you are the king of the South South? We have kings. I think we have the king of kings. <laughs> so I guess I'm the king of kings of salsa. <laughs> this guy on that note, I want to play something more. Cash out this brand new, right? That's arrogant, young sis. The first time ever. You guys, was yes. there any beef with you guys at some point? Be honest. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was feeling he was feeling some type of way. I was feeling some type of way. What type of, of way? What, what were you feeling actually? You thought okay, you, okay, this, straight up, busted this is, this it. Is this is classic. Two seconds yeah. everywhere, boss. No respect to my bro young sister yeah. I, I. now see um we actually did a song it's called team data mm. i was on the song young sis was on the song uh no young hanks was on the song that's yeah. three buzzing rappers from the south okay and you know how it is when you're when you're when you're from the south if in, in any in any in any music environment like mm. you have cardi b and Nicki minaj you yeah. see the fans trying to pitch into each other like okay. oh it's better yeah. than this and when yeah. you let those talks start getting into you that's when you know you're messing up right wow now. Now, um, after after uh, we recorded the song and um, the song because Youngsters took his verse first. Okay. And when I go to the studio, I just did one song and they were like, "Ah, here we go, man. We need you on the song. We need you on the song." I was like, "Ah, really? This song don't complete." And I said, "No, just because Youngsters had the last verse and they say, oh, here we go, just come." And I was like, "Okay, fine. Let me just kick a freestyle because I didn't know how big the song was gonna be." So I just did a freestyle and wow, the song came out. And trust fans, ah, here we go, here we go, kill Youngsters. Oh, I said, "No, Youngsters kill here we go, here we go." young sis and um during i don't know what happened but the uh, the the owner of the track called me that's frank and 
video producer said um six said doesn't want to be part of the video that some of my lines had a bit of violence in it that is, doesn't want his brand to be associated <laughs> with that really and that's me being real on the track because okay. th that was me just being Be real, real, like real, real, real track, what was happening yeah. at that particular time in my life and what was happening in the street at that particular time. So I felt some type of way like, come on, this shouldn't stop you, man. This song is a great song. Let's push this. And the, uh, no, side talks. This guy comes and says, oh, Youngsi said this, oh, Youngsi said that. And along the line, we start feeling different way because of our fan base, the fans, and all that. Okay, so, um, so that was it. He started straight up, you like, guys just had a conversation. That was it. And, and no, we, we didn't even have a conversation after that song. I think, we, uh, but before then we were talking, but before, when, when that, tra that track actually spurred the whole thing. Yeah. So that then M.I. came and said, Young C is the king of the South. I had wow. a conversation with M.I. before we recorded this song on my album. <laughs> and M was like, Straight up. Yo, uh, bro, uh, first time, shout out to M.I. by the way. He said, yo, first time I came out, I was buzzing. I know I guess they're talking, yeah, like that. So I guess I heard Young Six and then I've not heard uh, er, you, every, every guy. guy. And I was like, oh, um, the, the, you want to make a rhyme of uh, uh, the king of the south, like T.I. Wow. So you know that Young Six, the king of the south. Like, you wanted to make that word rhyme and he just said, phew. And wow. my fans were just there like, Emma, why you talk that thing? <laughs> <laughs> and he said okay. fans actually approached him and yeah. said yo why you go talk that kind of word now every guy day and so everybody started feeling although it's rap you you're allowed to claim whatever you want to claim you understand yeah. but like me i had grievance with emma like emma you know come from just going to give us king now uh -uh. <laughs> you don't know the color for worry now you don't know area now you're the call area king <laughs> oh crazy girl. shout out to you area real talk right here 96.9 cool fm seven minutes past two o'clock it is the mid deal races and iriga i mean what are you like and not he's been uh, pulling off the best hits from day one one of the best ever doing in this industry and uh, you got to respect that you cannot take that away we'll be right back on the show do not touch that radio and when we get back we're playing that brand new single which he finally did with young six and sammy right yeah, we'll be right yeah, back yeah. don't touch that radio we'll cash out, cash out. John jumped on this one and Sammy. Yeah, yeah. More cash out. Great, great brand new song. Right here, number one, your number one hit music station. Here we go, speaking true songs, yo. Ha! Oh, yeah. You know, the good thing is, you know, you got to say things the way they are. Let me let's get to the phone lines very quickly. Hey, what's good? How are you doing? Uh, Hello. Uh, good evening. Hey, how good are you doing? How are you good doing? Afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Everything works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two seconds. Everywhere, boss. How big? <laughs> Abe, Abe. Honestly, the time I had with kids uh, stayed at two seconds. What came to my mind was, ah, uh ah. -uh. But one of this every guy get to this language, uh, <laughs> so honestly, because. I am a big fan. Area no, not yours, man. Yeah. Area, no. so why area no? I know they for cloud chase. Cause you say, why you do this? You know, I say my people understand. I know my people are entertained. See, I've been a fan. I think for like two to three years now. That okay. situation room is yeah. that your story? Situation room. Yeah, oh, wow. that you featured okay. Benny Jones because. Okay. I've been okay, no, no. If you, if you listen to the starting, I say again one matter when play, so I know me yeah. play that matter. So wait, boy, play. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, that that is where I'm going to like. The way you started it, you wanted to say something, yeah. then you changed it like ah, 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 how come? So I've been wanting to like ask you this question, like how? Like, well, those, 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 those are three events, my brother. The song. Are they are they real life stories? Yeah, yeah, three Everything. events. I can't make Everything. I can't make up stories in my head. Wow, wow, crazy. wow, wow! Because that situation room really made me. Oh man, man! <laughs> uh, I now you're in the situation room, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Hello. Hey, what's good? How you doing? I'm fine, man. It's Daniel calling from Lake. Hey, Daniel, welcome to the show. What is your name? Oh, Daniel, well, sorry. How far in the area? I go. I go to Buzz. What's the character? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I bet. 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 Okay, um, this is the official release date. The album drops October fourth. Wow! So, guys, oh, area, new area. <laughs> the album drops. Um, area and non-area. Non-area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you guys, 
the album drops on the 4th of October. October. That's yeah. three days after the independence. Yes. So keep that date down. And uh, Eriga drops. This is called a. What, what do you call him of this the album? The Erigma 2. The Erigma 2. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> sort of an enigma, so I just yeah. Erigma. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you know, be part of this. I mean, um, well respected. You're well respected, bro. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, I like your truth. I like your story. I like what you... Um, uh, there's one song you did with Duncan. Is it Duncan Mighty? Yeah, Lagos Ibuka. Ah, that's a, <laughs> that's a great Bina. one. <laughs> that's a great one. I love that song too as well. Um, keep working out, bro. I mean... Yeah. Uh, Keep becoming, a, I mean, still stay as a legend. You stayed for your people and what you've done. Uh, but just so you know, we love your music around here. Every, every well, part. You need, to, you need to still understand that you're not still inspiration to us. No Thank man. you, man. Like a big motivator. I know how, I don't even follow your matter now. I think you want me at ATC that time now. I know where you did then and you did now. True. So seeing you grow. True. It didn't make me want to grow. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, album drops October 4. Eriga. I mean, whether you like it or not, uh, take it or leave it. Some of you might not like the sound of it, but to me, and he still stays. Forget it. I've said it many times. He's still the king of the South, right? Yeah. I have you to get uh, be on on, on on nominations and you know put people on the map for as long as you want without even knowing anybody. Yeah. That's a big deal. I got nominated no from Worry. I know come Lagos when I yeah. get nomination. Yeah. They call me, say, Riga, if I come. And I just say, okay, yeah, they booked flight for me all the way from Worry to this same Lagos, Lagos, Abuja, and for the parties and all that. Wow. So that's how big you are. Wow. What more can you say? I mean, that's a motivation you need. And thank you so much for what you did for Victor AD as well. Whether you like it or not, that's how I knew him. Victor's story, Victor's story. If I like the story, I tell you. No, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> just tell us quickly. Okay. How, did you, how did you, because the thing was, I know, it, I it was on the say, chorus it did for motivation. I just say Victor will remember. Victor was supposed to remember because what happened was, um, I was in the club. Yeah. Yeah, I was with my people. And um, there was a sound that was playing, Wait Till You Gain. So he was freestyling on the beats. He was, uh, you know, get money waiting, you get. And the old club was, yeah, everybody was just like, yeah, you know, worry, but when they don't, see, when they, when they don't know you, yeah, yeah, yeah. all not few people know, all you be your guy, they will look at my guy, they'll start again. But music is spiritual. Something hits me, and I was a bit tipsy, I was quite tipsy. Then I was like, ah, I just left the seat, my VIP yeah. seat, and I came to the, where the DJ booth, and I took the mic from him. I said, yo, bro, give me the mic. And I started freestyling on top of the beat, and they were like, wow, oh, they were like, oh, now you're like, the door. you guys are on this P now, okay, no problem. Problem. So I reached out to Victor the next. I said, Victor, how far did he say, um, okay, nice one. Um, I'd like us to do something, yeah? Let's do something. So uh, I sent him the song, he listened to it, went to the studio, killed it, and we went, ah, oh, man, nice one, nice one. But does he still come back home? Victor. Yeah. Victor Nairia. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so Victor Nairia. You, 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 is it permittable that he can do the same thing? Because, you know, he's here in Lagos now. Yeah. Do you think, because you, you said a lot of people make that mistake of yeah. leaving their space and coming here yeah. and it didn't work out for them now why now why would the area they protect our own nice what i do is when i see when i see a leak when i see where i know my own going to benefit i call him vito alpha i get one to any play for you idb then comes but nice. if i leave i don't have anybody that's going to watch my back so i, like I have that. to watch my I own like back that. i like that. that's motivation true talk from a regard 96.9 cool fm whether you like it or not one of the best ever doing i keep saying that i respect you love your music you keep doing it october 4 make sure you cut that album i mean there's no way i can wrap this interview up by not playing that song that got everybody crazy and then that officially put victor 80 on the map motivation Iriga. and you guys get ready the album be hot i'm not sure he's going to take shots at it but i know some people are going to get down for it <laughs> <laughs> we're right back in the show